Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about tonight is a new gun bill that's been rumored and is being introduced by independent Senator King, Angus King, out of Maine. Okay, this is an important one because while he may be drafting a new gun control bill, this has a lot of obstacles in front of it, and that's why I'm about to show you exactly what it'd have to overcome and what we're going to do about it. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear from you guys on this one. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. All right, my brothers and sisters, so this week we turned on a new functionality about actually doing something for our gun rights on our website, secondpress.co. I wrote a letter, and we're going to send it to the Speaker of the House, the guy who's going to receive all the pressure of what we're about to show you. Now, in this letter, we, we thanked him for his support of the Second Amendment in the past and also encouraged him to hold the line now. It's available in the description box below. You can sign on. So far, 6,500 people have signed on. And this letter is going to go out on November 3rd. The standing goal is to get to 10,000 people to tell the Speaker we've got his back, and we'd love to have you on there. Again, it's linked right down there. And it's time. Let's do something about this. But... That's what we're doing, and this is why I led off with this. Check out what's about to go down. Gun control advocates press gridlocked Congress after mass shooting in Maine. Assault rifle ban unlikely after the Lewiston shooting. And again, these are all just headlines. They're all linked. White House hits Johnson over claiming gun violence was a matter of the heart, which is 100% is. It's a matter of the heart and the mind, not what's in our hand. But we're going to hit that in a second. And then now... Here's the last piece. Speaker Johnson says, now not the time to discuss gun control. Problem is the human heart, not guns. Again, that last piece is the whole point. That's why he needs the support of these letters we're going to send him. And others are going to get them too. We're just getting started. But that's the backstory of what's happening. I'm going to walk you through this introduction of this idea and rumor of a bill that Angus Keene is make, King is making. And then I'll show you what has to actually happen. I'm all about telling you what's got to go down, not about a horrible world is ending thing. We got to be realistic here. Check this out. Portland Press Herald, Senator Angus King working on a new gun control legislation draft. Now that came out yesterday, but let me show you where he's angling here. Okay. This is the key. This is the direction that they're going because he's an independent. Senator Angus King is working on new federal legislation that he says would ban the most dangerous and lethal aspects of military-style assault rifles used in mass shootings, including the deadly attacks on Lewiston last week. King said Monday that he continues to oppose a bill pending in the Senate to ban about 200 specific assault-style weapons and guns with similar, similar characteristics. President Biden and gun safety advocates across the country have urged Congress to pass an assault weapons ban in the wake of the nation's latest mass shooting. So what he's talking about here is not the existing Feinstein bills, which we're about to get into. He's talking about something new, or as they used to like to say over the last two years, a novel idea. All right, so now let me show you where he's angling here, because this is where it gets interesting. Again, I'm still going to show you on the end what would be required to get this through. King said his bill will address the specific technologies that make such weapons especially deadly, a focus he has long advocated for as an alternative to the actual ban. Again, Feinstein, Murphy, those guys. He said it was too soon to discuss what would be in the bill, but that it would be similar to the past approach of focusing on the functionality of weapons over their appearances. Quote, I want to do something that's really going to work, King said, adding that he has been in discussions all weekend and through Monday. That's what we're working on. My goal is saving lives. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to He's trying to balance the level of not a full-on assault weapons ban, but on the actual functionality. One of the big criticisms of the gun control of the gun rights against the gun control side has been the bans that they they propagate don't do anything. It's all based on aesthetics. Now, gun bans don't work in general. We know that. However, this is a little bit different, and that's the angle he's trying to cut. Check this out. This is what they are basically doing in contrast of. The assault weapons ban sponsored by Senators Chris Murphy, Democrat Connecticut, Richard Blumenthal, Democrat Connecticut, and the late Dianne Feinstein would ban the sale, manufacture, transfer, and importation of 205 military-style assault weapons by name. It would also ban firearms with similar, similar characteristics like pistol grips, a forward grip, a barrel shroud, a threaded barrel, and a folding or telescopic sight, uh, excuse me, stock. Existing assault-style weapons would be largely grandfathered. And this is the part where it starts to get a little wishy-washy at the end right here. It would also ban magazines or feeding devices holding more than 10 rounds, require background checks on any future sale, trade, or gifting of an assault weapon, require grandfather weapons to be securely stored, prohibit any transfer of high-capacity ammunition magazines, and bump stocks and other rapid-fire devices. Now, 
This is where we're getting into the, the, the weeds a little bit. The ban from the Connecticut, from the uh, Feinstein, that is pretty much ban everything, universal background checks, magazine bans, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of other evil features that they like to say in California and other gun control states. Angus King is going kind of that middle road. Now, let me show you one more thing, and then I'll tell you all the details of why we need to support Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House, because this is where it has to go next. King has argued that the bill, this is the California bill, that it uh, focuses too much on a weapon looks like rather than how it functions. We're focused on the functionality of the weapon, he said. In other words, what makes it more dangerous. Now, Collins, this is a rhino in, like, tremendous power. Rhino says she's not working on AR, she's not working on the bills, but she is supporting the magazine ban limits. Okay, that's where we're at. That's what they're working on. That's the rumor mill, and we'll keep you up to date on it. Here's what has to happen. They would have to get a bill introduced in the Senate. The Senate would have to take up that bill and have to get over the filibuster. That requires 60 votes. Currently, the Democrats control the, the uh, Senate chamber 51 to 49. It would need to be a minimum of 60 votes to get it through the Senate chamber. Once it got through the Senate chamber, again, overcoming the filibuster, which is a tall order, it would have to go to the House. The Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, has been a two-way advocate, which is why the left is hitting him so incredibly hard. So we would have to actually get on the floor through him, and then Republicans would have to jump ship, vote for it outside of their majority, and then it would go to Biden for the, the full-on implementation. That's a lot of ifs, ands, and buts. So is it unlikely? Yes. Am I ruling out as an act of God happens? No, I'm not ruling it out. But where we're sitting right now, he's drafting a new bill so that there's another option for down the road when we talk about this again, then it's going to be a, a available option. And the independents and the moderates will use that as an example and they'll go against the Feinstein bill. I mean, that's what will happen in the future. But right now, you're about to see the moderate version of assault weapons bans, or as one of the gun control, uh, excuse me, one of the gun rights uh, leaders that I've talked to said, it's it's a gun ban light. It's essentially what they're talking about. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.